What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel Journey with G Poppy. Uh, today we're working on a brick patio that had some, some bricks that failed on the tread uh, that had a high traffic volume. Uh, so normally a brick patio or a flagstone patio will be laid on a bed of sand that is tamped very tight. Um, and sometimes they tend to kind of, they're not, they're not uh, maintenance free, I'll say. So, and especially on the edge, like on this brick, if you look at the edge of the brick, uh, the brick sticks out about two inches beyond the base of the, the brick patio. So what, what we've done is we've taken all the bricks loose and they were glued down originally. So what we've done, we've cleaned the brick up and now we're gonna use a thin bed mortar, our thin bed grout, uh, our mortars, thin bed mortar set uh, like you would use for ceramic tile um, to give it a much more uh, permanent and to help support the rest of the brick from shifting. Um, because this is a high traffic volume due to the, the fire pit, I know it's a mess, but the fire pit there, uh, so it's high traffic to the fire pit. So, <clears throat> so that's what we're gonna attempt to do. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is start off mixing some, um, and, and by the way, I recommend wearing old clothes because if you get this thin bed mortar on your clothes, uh, it is, you can't get it off. So your clothes will basically be ruined. I recommend using old clothes. I recommend using goggles or some kind of sunglasses to protect your eyes from splashing because sometimes the mortar when you mix it will splash. Um, and if you're indoors and you use this often, I recommend using a, uh, a face mask as well because the the dust from dust particles from this which is pure silica because it has a sand content um, can cause silicosis and the particles that you cannot see are the worst ones for you so if you're using this this material often and indoors you definitely need to wear a mask to protect your health so anyway uh, so yeah, silicosis is black lung, they used to call it. The coal miners used to get it. Uh, same thing because of the silica dust. Anything under 5 microns. And that's the dust particles you cannot see with the naked eye. Unless, like, like if you see uh, the sun shining through your window in your house and you see really fine particles floating through the air, that's, that's like 5 microns right there. So, anyway, uh, enough of that. So, we're going to mix some of this out in the grass so we don't get it on the brick patio. <clears throat> so we've got some water in our bucket and we have a mixing we have a mixer since i'm old and late or old i uh, try to do things the easy way so you got to watch the splashy the dust there got to watch splashing right. Right, we'll mix that and see see where that takes us it's probably going to need more water see that Let's make short work of this. Um, and this paddle can be used to mix drywall mud, uh, you know, or a grout or anything like this. You know, if you're doing like a concrete, um, refinishing concrete, you can use the same same kind of thing. So that's that's a bit thin. We need to add more. We got a lift on that bucket. All right, so that's not too bad, but we're gonna add more. It's, it's not thick enough to be used just yet. All right, we need just a little more. Okay. Let's see where that takes us. Good. I think that's going to be good. Okay. Okay, we're going to stop there. Now, now what we're going to do, I've got a notch trial over here. I've got a notch trial. So this is what you use for ceramic tiles. You lay your bed of mortar and then you put notches across. And what that does, it regulates the amount of mortar you have on your base, right? 
So, <clears throat> so these these bricks bricks on the side are loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to start back here and leave those bricks in place to keep us on track. Now this particular patio has light a lighting system. So there's a wire under this brick that we don't want to get uh, mortar on. <clears throat> and if we do very, very little mortar, let me get my broom just to make sure. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so <clears throat> I don't want to empty this. I don't want to empty this, this sand out of the, the void in the block beneath. Um, I want to leave that in there to kind of help support this, this grout, okay? So we're going to set these bricks up here. And then we'll set a base of, of this thin set mortar. <clears throat> and we'll go from there. We'll see how it goes. Let's do a couple bricks and see, see how you like it. <clears throat> All right. So, and we put cardboard down to protect. There's a brick patio under this cardboard and the stairs. You can see it goes all the way down. It's pretty, pretty, uh, pretty fancy um, set. So we're going to put this thin bed mortar right here. Okay. So it's mainly going to be out on the outer parts, um, on the parts that have the brick, because obviously the sand is not going to is not going to hold a lot of is not going to hold the uh, the thin bed mortar. Okay. So once we get a few few bricks on here, then we can go to the edge. Um, we can do those bricks on the edge. Okay. We're going to put a few there. So what, the reason we did that, we want to make sure we stay on track, you know, with our our design here. Okay, so I'm going to press down on that just like you would a ceramic tile, and you're you're not going to want anyone to walk on this for like 24 hours. So, okay, make sure it's got a good good set there. All right, and we're going to do another section here, and so this is a little little different. I mean, it's a little different than what you normally would do with. Uh, ceramic tile but um, but due to the like I said due to the ha heavy traffic volume on these steps there has to be something that's going to bond because this stuff when it when it hardens it's like hard as a rock I mean it really gets hard it's like <clears throat> okay gotta, gotta watch for little pieces of pieces of mortar that'll mess you up under under a brick okay so all right we're gonna press this down like I mentioned okay and these bricks are gonna help hold each other in place and by the way these bricks oh shoot I should have done those too while we were at it huh Kyle should have done, well we can butter the bottom of these pieces okay when we're done what we'll do is we'll I'll show you how we butter them okay so what we'll do is we'll butter the bottom of this like this okay over our bucket and then we'll just butter it like that. Got it? Pretty simple. Okay. And we'll just stick it down in there like so. And then just make sure it's in, it's good in place. How's that? All right. Then we'll go. Let's see. We'll do the same here. And we'll, we'll pull these pieces out and we'll butter them afterwards. That'd probably be a lot easier to do it that way. I think we might have a little bit too much mud in that one. All right, so let's go over and do these edge pieces that we that we left undone. Because what I don't want to happen is these these bricks to get set and then us not be able to move. Now here's the here's the wiring for the light the light system in the steps. So we don't want to get grout on there because, like I said, that stuff it hardens like rock. Okay, it gets rock hard. So I'm gonna try to not get too much near that. All right. Won't hurt to have a little bit there, and there's another piece there. <clears throat> See, that's why I put the cardboard down. <laughs> that's why I put the cardboard down. All right, butter. 
that piece and let it sit there. Okay. And this one needs a little more right there. Okay. And this this notch trowel helps to ensure, like I said, that you don't have too much too much mortar underneath your underneath your brick. Oh, I'm moving the wrong brick. Underneath your brick. So Press that like a ceramic tile. Press that one, okay. And then there's a little bit coming out near the edge. So I wore gloves, and because this stuff, it, if it gets on your hands, it's pretty, it's hard to get off too. So I'd rather ruin a pair of gloves than have that grout dry on my hands. Okay. Now. Okay, let's get a couple of these bricks off. Sweep our little some of that loose stuff off of the off the block. Because again, we don't want anything to you. There's a piece of that glue that was used that didn't hold very well. You know, the glue's fine as long as you're not it's not a high traffic area. But on these steps, like I said, the overhang and everything, all things considered, it, it's made it really hard to uh, for it to stay in place. So, so we're just gonna do this. And this will be the edge. So it, if 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 your edges, when it comes to flagstone or uh, a brick patio like this, your edges are what's key. I mean, if your if your edges move, and there's a wire on that light as well. See that? So we're going to try to stay away from that light as much as we can. There. I might try to get a little bit in behind here on this edge a little bit. Maybe I should move this brick. Let's do that. <clears throat> um yeah so so your edges are what's key i want to keep this away from that wire like i mentioned um uh, all right because and, and the reason why you want to stay away from that wire is if is if the lights ever go lighting system ever goes bad you can pull your wire back you know uh hopefully that that won't happen but you just don't want to have it cemented in this this rock hard material that won't move. Um, all right. I'm gonna push that in. That brick there is sticking up a little bit. I don't kind of I don't like that one too much, but ah, see, I don't want to get that on top of the brick. All right, I don't like this one. I don't know what's going on. Something that is there that's not not good. Might have to dig that out or something. <clears throat> Don't like it. No likey. No likey. All right, so let's stop there and we'll try to dig that out and see what's what is it that's holding that. 